Hello, my name is Lino Gonçalves from Portugal. I'm the chair of the ESE Educational Online Task Force for the Specialty Center. And I would like to welcome to the ESC studio today Dr. Susanna Price from UK. And Dr. Susanna Price is the chair of the Education and Training uh, uh, Committee of the Acute Care Care. Dr. Susanna, um, as you know, the ESCAL platform was launched during this Congress in Munich in 2012. And this is a fantastic uh, tool for uh, e learning and uh, I'd like to, to know your opinion regarding this uh, e-learning platform. And the first question is, what is the purpose of the e-learning uh, platform for your group? Uh, thank you for that question, Lino. The, as you know, education's been key to acute cardiac care for some years. We've been running an accreditation certification exam. We have a curriculum, and as of last year, we have a textbook dedicated to acute cardiac care. So the transition from more traditional learning materials to online educational materials, which in fact is what many universities are now doing, is absolutely perfect for acute cardiac care. And the purpose will be for us to pull together the relevant parts of not just acute cardiology, but cardiology within the other acute disciplines such as pre-hospital care, emergency medicine and acute medicine and obviously intensive care. So from one place, anybody practicing or training in acute cardiac care has a world-class educational resource where they can get the knowledge and also build their own professional training program within the national societies. Excellent. And how does a uh, SCAL platform integrate into your group's uh, membership strategy? Okay, the platform will be particularly useful for us because we have membership not just within cardiology but across other uh, professions within medicine, as I said, within critical care, emergency medicine, acute medicine, but also uh, other professionals. So we have nurse members who are coronary care or intensive care nurses, and we have paramedic members. And we hope to be able to provide for not just uh, interprofessional but interdisciplinary uh, access to educational materials that are relevant to all of our members within acute cardiac care. And um, what are uh, your perspectives uh, and uh, what are the perspectives of your group in terms of e-learning strategy for the ESC learning platform? Well, our strategy for the moment will be to integrate the e-learning educational materials ally uh, ally them particularly with the textbook and the textbook really addresses the syllabus of acute cardiac care and as acute cardiac care is a relatively new specialty the SGEL platform will be absolutely key to showing trainees and actually established practicing doctors what the standards of care should be and what the knowledge a doctor practicing acute cardiac care should have. So our vision will be that in 2013 we will have the program ready to launch at our annual congress in Madrid and I would expect that with the input of the people that we've asked to be involved in developing these educational materials we will have the world-class and world-leading educational training program for acute cardiac care. And uh, my final question, Susanna, in your opinion, what are the benefits for your members to enroll in the SCAL platform? In other words, why should your member uh, enroll? I think to me, the benefits are absolutely clear. What anybody who enrolls in the acute cardiac care SCAL platform will get, whether it be they a trainee or an established uh, professional cardiologist practicing acute cardiac care, is they will have immediate access wherever they want at the time that they want to high quality evidence-based uh, uh, educational materials. They will be able to build their own portfolio. and in trainees in countries where acute cardiac care is not an established training program, it will give them a kind of roadmap whereby which they can track their progress against that which is thought to be the best internationally. So I think the benefits for the trainees and the cardiologists are very clear. The benefits for the patients ultimately be, will be that we have better trained cardiologists and other uh, professionals within the field of acute cardiac care. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank Susanna. Thank you very much, Lina. Thank you. Thank you.